What if the most valuable tech skills in 2026 aren't the ones that everyone is learning right now. I mean, in 2024, prompt engineering was the buzzword. We, we all heard about it. Courses popped up overnight. I mean, LinkedIn was full of people claiming they'd mastered it. Maybe they did. But now, I mean, AI can write and optimize its own prompts. So here's the question. If AI keeps automating the technical work, what skills will still make you valuable? That's what I wanted to figure out. So I dug around, I dug really deep through reports from the World Economic Forum, MIT, IBM, LinkedIn, Stanford, that are actually building these systems. And what they all point to is this. The future isn't about learning one tool. It's about understanding the systems behind the tools and how to think across them. Now, the wild thing really is about tech right now is it's not just changing what we build, it's changing how we build it. I mean, every year new frameworks drop, new AI tools launch, new languages come, rise and fall, but all under it, there's one invisible layer that is making or breaking everything we do, which is the network. I mean, think about it. Your cloud environment, your machine learning pipeline, your SaaS stack, none of it works if your network isn't secure. Not only just secure, but scalable and fast enough to keep up. And yet networking is one of the least modernized parts of our entire tech stack. It's still fragmented with separate vendors for hardware, software, security, and ISPs. And most of it is managed manually, which sounds so outdated. That's a problem when today's companies are scaling globally. I mean, spinning up AI workloads across regions and relying on real-time connectivity to stay online. That is where Meter comes in. And I'm really proud to have them as the sponsor of today's video. By the way, I linked them down below, so make sure to go check them out. Meter builds full stack networking infrastructure, wired, wireless, and cellular, all managed in one place. It's a kind of solution that makes sense to anyone who's ever had to deal with outages, latency, or those dreaded, who owns this piece of the network moments. They design, deploy, and manage everything from the physical installation to the ongoing operations. And they give teams real visibility and control through a unified dashboard. So instead of juggling multiple vendors and legacy systems, Meter gives you a single scalable foundation that grows with your business. It's not just about better Wi-Fi, it's about better infrastructure that adapts to how modern companies actually work, especially with distributed teams, cloud-first workflows, and AI systems that depend on high-speed reliability connectivity. In short, they've built the kind of network engineers have been wishing existed for years. One that's programmable and transparent as a software running on it. And that idea, understanding the invisible layers of technology, is exactly what separates good technologists from the great ones. Okay, as a reminder, I linked them down below, so go learn more about Meter. Okay, today we are breaking down the top 10 technical skills that will matter the most in 2026, which is coming really soon. Skills that aren't just about knowing the latest tools, but about understanding the systems that power everything else. Right now, we're living in what economists call the skills churn era. So listen to this. The World Economic Forum's 2025 Future Jobs Report found that nearly half of all workers will need reskilling by 2027. It's a year and a half away because AI and automation are changing the tasks we do every single day. And yet when you look at what actually lasts, the same pattern shows up every single time. When the internet arrived, everyone learned, say, HTML. When mobile expanded, everyone learned Swift or Kotlin. When cloud took over, everyone rushed to AWS certifications. But those who thrived weren't chasing the frameworks. They actually took the time to understand how the pieces fit together. So instead of asking yourself, what should I learn this year? The better question is what skills will matter no matter what AI does next. The 10 skills that will matter most, researchers at MIT, Stanford, IBM research describe this next era as the systems phase of AI, which really means progress now depends on how well humans can connect technologies together. Here's what that actually means for your skills though. Let's start with one, which is systems thinking. So according to the MIT Sloan School of Management, systems thinking is one of the top meta skills for the AI era. And this is because it lets you understand how a local decision affects a global system. So whether you're designing an autonomous uh, drone network or an AI supply chain, systems thinkers see dependencies others miss. Performance bottlenecks, security trade-offs, ethical side effects. It's a skill that turns technologists into architects. 
Now, coming in at number two is AI literacy. AI literacy doesn't mean building a large model from scratch. It means knowing how one works. A Stanford study found that over 80% of technical leaders now expect employees, even outside of engineering, to understand concepts like embeddings, vector databases, and fine tuning. So why is this? Because those who actually understand how AI thinks can evaluate it, guide it, and spot bias before it reaches production. Coming in at number three is data engineering. Every single AI model is only as good as the data it gets. Now, according to LinkedIn's 2024 workforce report, engineering has grown 50% faster than data science itself. Companies have plenty of data scientists, but too few people who can actually clean structure and move that data across systems reliably. If you know how to build pipelines, you're building the foundation for every AI product that follows. Okay, coming in at number four is cloud and edge computing. We love the cloud still, it's not going anywhere. But there are things changing. So the Gardner Emerging Tech Radar predicts that by 2026, over 60% of AI workloads will run at the edge on devices, vehicles, and sensors, not in the cloud. That means the next generation of developers will need to design hybrid systems, balancing what runs locally for privacy and speed and what runs in the cloud for scale. Cloud is table stakes. Edge will be the differentiator. All right, coming in at number five is cybersecurity and privacy. Now, according to IBM's cost of data breach report, the global average breach now costs, hold on for the second here, 4.88 million and attacks are rising. In 2026, cybersecurity won't be niche. It's a baseline you'll need to know how zero trust networks work, how to secure APIs and LLM endpoints and how to design with privacy by default. Because in the AI era, trust is really the new currency, the new data, if you will. I don't know about that. All right, coming in at number six is automation and orchestration. So here's what McKinsey found. 70% of companies are automating workflows. But listen to this. Fewer than 15% have systems that talk to each other. That is where orchestration comes in, connecting APIs, data pipelines, and AI agents to coordinate automatically. The skill here isn't coding one specific task. It's architecting the entire process. And that's what multiplies productivity across an organization. Number seven is human AI collaboration. Now, a really interesting Harvard Business Review study showed that teams combining human judgment with AI decision-making outperformed pure AI or pure human teams by up to 25%. In 2026, your value won't be doing what AI can. I mean, we all know that. It will be doing what AI can't. Adding context, making judgment, the human side of things, if you will. Coming at number eight is hardware awareness. AI's next bottleneck isn't algorithms, it's compute. The IEEE, I always have to count how many E's, Spectrum 2025 chip report highlights that understanding GPUs, NPUs, and energy efficiency is becoming critical even for software developers. Because when you know about hardware limits or what accelerates your models, you can design smarter, faster, and cheaper solutions. I mean, even a basic awareness of chip architecture will set you apart. Coming in at number nine is product thinking. All this technology means nothing if it doesn't really solve a real problem. Now, according to A16Z, the state of AI report that they produce, the startups winning right now are not the most advanced. They are the most user-centered. Product thinking is how you connect innovation to impact. It's not, can we build this? It's, should we? And that is how technology changes lives, not just industries. All right, coming in at number 10, the last one. Save the last one for best, in my opinion. Communication and storytelling. Listen to this. In my opinion, this is the most underrated one, the underrated skill of all, especially in tech. So the National Academies of Sciences call communication a technical competency because the most complex tech becomes the most valuable if you are able to explain it clearly. I mean, think about it. If you're able to explain the tech behind, what's working behind your client systems or to your teammates, it's huge and you can be a leader for that. So what does this all mean for you? Well, one, AI will keep evolving faster than any of us expect. Some job titles will disappear, some new ones will appear, and the tools will keep on changing. But these 10 skills, systems thinking, AI literacy, data engineering, and the rest, they're the connective tissue, if you will, of the future workforce. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and feel inspired about what you wanna learn next, where you want to put your focus for new skills. As a reminder, I linked Meter down below, so go check it out. All right. I need more coffee. I don't, but I'm gonna go get more.